Question 7 from Section 1 of the 2018 Higher Physics paper. A spacecraft is travelling at a speed of 0.200 c relative to the Earth. That's 0.2 times the speed of light. The spacecraft emits a signal for 20 seconds as measured in the frame of reference of the spacecraft. An observer on Earth measures the duration of the signal as, and we're given the following five choices. Now we know the equation we're going to use is going to be the time dilation equation, as shown there. So to get an idea of what t dashed is and t, let's rely on this diagram here, which sums up what's happening. Measured on the spacecraft, the time interval lasts 20 seconds, as can be seen on that clock. But we're going to measure a different time because the spacecraft is in a moving reference frame compared to us. And we use the times as follows. So the time measured by the astronaut is going to be t, and that's going to be equal to 20 seconds. 20 seconds. He is going to measure the time interval of the signal to be 20 seconds. We're going to measure a different time, and our time is given t prime. That's what we're going to measure, and that's what we're going to try and find out. And we can use that with the help of our equation over here. So we just plug in the numbers now. Now we know what t prime is and t is. t prime is what we're going to measure in our reference frame. That is going to equal to 20 seconds, which is the astronaut's time, divided by the square roots of 1 minus. Now in this particular case, because we've been given the speed in terms of c, we can just simply cancel out the two c's and put in 0 0.200, zero, zero, all squared, because the two c's are going to cancel out. We know that we have got v divided by c, and we know that v is given as a factor of the speed of light, 0 0.200c. So we divide that by c, you can see that the two c's cancel out, and we can just put in 0 0.200 squared into the, the, the function. So it works out that t prime, the time that we measured, if we do that in a calculation, turns out to be 20.04 seconds. So we actually measure on the Earth, the event to be 0 0.4 seconds longer. Our answer is going to be D up here. So what have we got to learn from that then? We must be able to use the time dilation equation. We must know what T prime is, that's the time uh, which we measure on the Earth. And T is going to be the time from the spacecraft's frame of reference. So that's time dilation equation in action. Question 8 of Section 1 of the 2018 Higher Physics Exam. How many types of quark are there? Well, we just look at the charts. Uh, normal matter, ordinary matter is made up of six quarks, up, down, top, bottom, strange and charm, which means there are six types of quarks. So the answer is going to be B. Question 9 from Section 1 of the 2018 Higher Physics, and it's asking you what is an electron. It says an electron is a, and it gives you the five possible choices. Well, you just have to study the table, which is given in the standard model, and you can see that an electron is a member of the lepton family. Leptons meaning lights, not influenced at all by the strong uh, nuclear force. The electron, the muon the tau, the electron neutrino, the muon neutrino and the tau neutrino are all members of the lepton family.